All right, let's look again at the properties of logarithms. We have the three here, log base a of x times y equals log base a of x plus log base a of y. Uh, log base a of x over y is log base a of x minus log base a of y. And then we have this power rule, the most important one. Log base a of x to the r equals r log base a of x. Um, we can use these properties to expand logarithmic expressions. Uh, another use for them is to condense logarithmic expressions. And the reason we might want to do that is to solve a logarithmic equation, uh, which we'll look at later. So here we have um, an expression of logarithms, and we're asked to condense it, as in write it with fewer symbols, um, ideally as a single logarithm of something. All right. So this is one-third times the quantity 2 natural log of x minus 4 natural log of y minus the natural log of 2 plus z. All right, now when we expanded logarithmic expressions, we started with these first two properties and then brought down the powers. When we condense, we'll want to go in the, um, the opposite order. We'll want to put coefficients on the exponents of the numbers in the argument of the logarithms, then use these sum and difference properties to combine uh, the logarithms. Okay. So here we have a 2 natural log of x. Using this property, we can take the 2 and put it as an exponent on x. The 4 here can be put as an exponent on y, and there's no coefficient here. So this is all fine. So let's do that. 1 third natural log of x squared minus natural log of y to the fourth minus natural log of 2 plus z. Okay, now we have logarithms um, all by themselves, no coefficients, and so we can use these properties to combine them. So here we have the natural log of x squared, we minus natural log of y to the fourth, so that's this property right here, we can write that as a quotient. This is also a minus, so this term here, this 2 plus z, will also appear in the denominator. As a general rule, if you have a logarithm that is positive, it will appear in the numerator. If you have a logarithm that, has, that is multiplied by negative 1, there's a negative, I suppose, uh, this will be in the denominator. Okay, so we have 1 third, and then we have the natural log of x squared over y to the fourth times 2 plus z. All right. And now we have a one-third as a coefficient of this logarithm. Again, we can use this power property to put this as an exponent of everything in the argument. And we know that one-third as an exponent is a cube root. So what we have at the end here is the cube root of all of this. So x squared over y to the fourth times 2 plus c.